All right, uh, you know, first day in pads. It was good to get out there, uh, see the guys flying around. I thought you definitely saw an, an increase in intensity. Um, you know, we're continuing with our installation, so we have three full days of installation. Um, you know, it's you know, trying to be very aggressive here early, and uh, you know, I think it, that showed up a little bit uh, in some things where uh, you know we gotta gotta continue to. To get better, and you know, sometimes when you put more in, you know, the, the fundamental element is something we got to continue to stress and emphasize. Um, you know, we had too many drops today. Uh, you know, I thought that was something that was a disappointment from watching practice. Um, you know, just as we're out there, I mean, I, I think guys are, are doing a good job of trying to work to get themselves open. Uh, quarterbacks did a pretty good job locating uh, locating the ball for the most part, but you know, just missed, missed opportunities. And um, give credit to you know the guys on the defensive side. I thought they were flying around today. Uh, working to be aggressive, um, you know, but uh, uh, I thought it was a I thought it was a, a, a good day. I thought we saw some good good physicality, especially in some of our competitive drills uh, that we're doing, and um, you know, just continue to, to build off that. Uh, you know, we, we're going to go essentially you know, the first four practices here you know, tomorrow, uh, whatever it is, Tuesday, uh, will be a good good uh, good work day. Uh, you know, a little lighter on the installation to get see guys, you know, really really uh, you know honing in on those fundamentals, and then we're going to scrimmage on Friday. So uh, I want to see these guys, you know, what they can take, what they're going to do. So we're going to we're going to push, uh, you know, push that quick, um, and you'll know, be able to get rolling there come uh, or on Thursday. Uh, uh, is what I meant. With the next practice, y'all know. With the big guys on pads. I guess I guess I'll be done unless you start asking oh, questions. I apologize. I did not mean to keep going. With the big guys on pads, what did you take away from what they were able to do today? Um, you know, I thought there were some some good things that showed up. I saw you know some some physicality. Our older players, uh, you know, I thought like you're watching Pat. Uh, Daryl, you know, you know, some of those guys, uh, you know, that have been been through. You saw the the fundamental focus, and you know, taking the taking the the strength and the power and the size, of, and then being able to implement that. That was really uh, it was a positive for me to see, um, you know. And but we get a get a good sense of where guys are. Uh, you know, that offensive line group is one that uh, uh, we got some experienced players, but also really trying to push some of these uh, either the newcomers or the guys that are a, a little bit younger to see them uh, you know progress along, and so. Uh, really going to challenge them with that, but you know, I thought, like I said, I thought it was a good day. I was going to ask on the O line, is Bryce Matthews coming along to where he's been reading? You know, we're looking, we're looking for that consistency, and uh, you know, I think when you sit there and you look at that 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 group of guys um, that are still, you know, that have been a little bit younger in in uh, in their in their progression, um, you know, Estes, uh, Julian, uh, Jalen Early, you know, he had some really good reps today. I mean, but those guys, um, and it's time to take a, a step. And you know you can have a flash, you can have a moment, but we got to see consistency. Uh, you know, and they're all fighting for time and opportunity. So uh, it's going to be a be a big part of what we're doing. You know, it's good seeing Lucas Simmons. You know, you know being able to you know, miss so much of the fall. So really, this is you know kind of tying into this that that first part of what he's what he's able to do. But excited about uh, um, you know kind of way he's progressing. Same as basically, you know, that's uh, it's you know, Daniel Lyons. I'm really excited. You know, KJ uh, Sampson, you know, did some good things, um, you know, as a young guy that, that flashed today. But you know, we needed to we needed to be you know, play in and play out, and uh, that's where uh, you know, the work that these guys are putting in, you know, things that they're doing with their body. You just want to see that you, you want to see that push, you want to see that that element utilizing the fundamentals on a play in and play out basis. But uh, you know, Daniel, somebody we're counting on, and uh, you know, we need to see we need to see that, but I think he's definitely getting better. You know, I thought Rodell had some some really good runs. I mean, all, all those guys have had their had their moments. You know, I like I really like you know the things I'm seeing with Jalen Lucas. You know, obviously LT has uh, has been uh, uh, been good. You know, we've got a pretty good sense of, of, of where he is. He was carrying his body weight well. Um, you know, all those all those things. Um, you know, it's good to see uh, you know some you know some of the newcomers. You know, seeing Cam out there. You know, you know working through it. Uh, you know, he's picked it, picking it up really quick. Uh, I think he's got a got a good understanding. Cause I, uh, you know, continuing to, to take another step in his game. So uh, I think it's a really good uh, running back room. Sam Singleton had a big big run today. Um, you know, showcasing his speed. So um, you know, it's a it's a good group, and you know, see those guys continue to emerge. You mentioned the drops. Is that more of a con contribution variety? What kind of things? Yeah, I mean, I think you know, some of it's fundamental, some of it's, uh, um, you know, probably the focus element of you know, getting distracted by, you know, turning their heads, up, you know, upfield too quick or taking their eyes off at the last second. Um, and, you know, I mean, you, when you add a physical element, you got a DB that's in good position fighting for you. I mean, it's, it's aggressive. It's, it's, it's man on man. Go get the ball. What do you think about quarterbacks week one? I mean, I've been pleased. I mean, to, you know, like there's been, 
r really good work. Um, I think DJ's handled himself as a newcomer coming in. Um, in, in understanding that this is a pretty pretty hefty load for installation, um, but I think you could see that the work that he's he's invested, even building up to, to spring ball. I mean, he def he doesn't seem lost in any m moment. There are some things fundamentally uh, tying it all together that I think can continue to uh, he can continue to benefit from. I think Brock has you could see Brock being in a nut, I mean, being the next year just the confidence in where he's supposed to go, what he's supposed to do. Um, you know, he's only going to get better as, you know, utilizing the fundamentals. But uh, um, I like that. And, then, you know, Luke has been really good for the first three days. You know, there's some things that he's, he uh, will continue to, to, to learn and grow through. But, I mean, um, him, Trevor, like those guys are, it's, it's, a, it's a good group. Last one. Uh, how special is this? Uh, Wolves of the this weekend, having the former players here, No, absolutely. That's what, but that's what this program's about. It's you know the people make the place, and the guys that have come before us. Uh, you know, yesterday was a great celebration of guys, uh, um, you know, for their for their pro day. You guys are taking that next step. It's great to see a lot of those guys out here. Um, you know, encouraging, celebrating, uh, and then the past players. You know, guys that have that have come, you know, come back just to to be around this weekend. Uh, you know, obviously it was it was great. We had a little event last night. Um, to kind of recognize them uh, for for what they've uh, what they've done and accomplished and uh, it was really really just a, a great experience to continue to build the relationship for all different generations and and then seeing those guys come out and uh, and you know pour into the current players and you know obviously as they're, when they're on campus you, know, you get to see some of the uh, uh, you know for, for the recruits that we have in to be able to, to 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 visit with them and just talk about the experience of what it is to be a Seminole all right thank you guys Thanks, coach.